Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, fighting the many enemies of nature. This is the job of the guardian of the forest, Ranger Bill. Pouring rain, freezing cold, blistering heat, snow, floods, bears, rattlesnakes, mountain lions. Yes, all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. One of the meanest and most dangerous of the animals in the United States is the buffalo bull. He's a savage fighter, always walking around with a chip on his shoulder. He attacks without warning and moves like a bolt of lightning. The rangers never get close to the buffalo herd unless they're riding fast and experienced horses. Each herd has one bull who's the big boss. When he gets old and loses some of his speed and fighting ability, one of the younger bulls will challenge the big boss. A fight follows, and the older animal is run out of the herd. The dethroned bull becomes a lone marauder. He vents his humiliation and anger with savagery upon any living man or beast. So now it's time to join Bill and his rangers as they hunt... The Mad Bison! You're out of breath. What's wrong? Uh, uh, some beast has attacked our stallions. It got Whitey. It got Whitey? Well, what do you mean, Lefty? Whitey's lying out on the range. He's badly wounded. Almost cut to ribbons. Well, let's go. Sure like springtime. Everything's so new and fresh. That's right, pal. Almost like starting life all over again. Yeah, the buffalo must feel that way, too. <laughs> there isn't one of them around the feeding barns. Well, they've moved out to the range, all right. Won't see them around the ranch buildings until early winter. <laughs> they sure like their free feed when the ranging is tough, though. <laughs> you said it. You can't say that I blame them. <laughs> oh, I guess not. Say, did you tell Stumpy and Gray Wolf we were going out? Uh, no, I didn't, pal. Better stop here by the horse corral and take the sandals off Storm and Bess. Not used to wearing leather yet. Oh, Bess. Oh, boy. Oh, girl. oh Storm. Easy, Bess, old girl, easy. Hey, Bill, I can see where the saddle blanket kind of wore a spot or two in Bess's back. <laughs> boy, it's sure been a long time since she wore a saddle. Yeah, Storm, too. Let's turn him into the corral. Okay. Okay. Get going, boy. Get away, Storm. Storm says thanks for taking the pack off his back. <laughs> well, it doesn't look like Stumpy and Gray Wolf are here. Yeah, they'd have come out of the cabin by now. I don't see their horses either. Are we going to wait until they get back? Yeah. I want to look over the buildings and fences anyhow. See if they need repair. Well, I'll help you. Okay. Let's start with the Wrangler's cabin. Easy, Whitey, big boy. We're almost through patching you up. Yeah, it's a good thing you came along when you did, Lefty. Or Whitey would have died. Yeah, he sure was bleeding bad. Easy, Whitey boy, easy. Yeah, g give me some more of that bed sheet. Yeah, sure. Here you are, Lee. Yeah, thanks. You just to bind up the gash in his hind leg, and we'll have him bandaged. I got the salve smeared into the wound, Lee. Yeah, we'll have it wrapped up in a jiffy. Easy, Whitey boy, easy. Do you want help, Lee? No, I can make it all right. You better keep your eye on the range in case whatever or whoever did this comes back. I've been watching. I wish it would come back so I could empty my rifle into it. Yeah. I wonder if that'd stop it, Lefty. Yeah. Maybe I have a point there. 
There's got to be some beast to down a stallion, especially Whitey. You said it. There, I'm finished. Yeah, I'll go out and get the truck so we can take Whitey to the barns where it'll be safe. It'll be easier for us to take care of him there. Okay. I'll stand guard while you're gone. Right. I'll send a couple of the Wranglers out to help you. One rifle might not be enough. Easy, boy. You get a chance to run later. Stand still, Matilde. Stop skittering around like a minner. I think Buffalo Herd settled down all right, Stumpy. They do, too, Gray Wolf. You got the back to freedom feeling out of their bones. <laughs> they sure was cutting loose with monkey shines for a while there. Yeah, I thought for sure they stampede. Yeah, we had our hands full, Sonny. I'm going recruited to the meanest stampeders alive. Maybe we go back to cabin now and take another look at Herd this afternoon. No, I wouldn't do that yet, Sonny. Why? What do you mean? We're missing the big boss, Buffalo. Huh? You mean old Snort gone? He sure is, Gray Wolf. I thought you'd seen that. Uh, I busy watch Youngstock. Not notice old Snort not with Herd. We better find him. Not alone, we ain't. You think he have fight with Young Bull? He sure do. See that young upstart out there? Looks kind of scarred up, like he's been in a scrap. You're right, old-timer. Maybe we better find out for sure. That's why I'm waiting for the herd to settle down and quit spooking. But maybe we could ride down kind of easy-like and take a look at that young roughneck. Not good idea. In about an hour, we should be able to ride close to the herd. Yeah, I think so. Good thing we got fresh mounts. Those critters might give us a chase. Especially the new big boss. stay out here and see what we can make out of the tracks where the fight took place. Okay, Lefty. Dick and Fred will give me a hand getting Whitey out of the truck. As soon as we got Whitey bedded down in the barn, we'll be out to relieve you from guarding the herd. Okay, you better get going. You'll have to drive slow. Right. Well, let's see what we can make out of the hoof prints where Fidey fought this... this thing, whatever it is, Emil. Okay, Lefty. I sure can't figure it out. I don't think any of us will be able to... Look here at these cloven hoof marks. Yeah. What kind of an animal large enough to kill a stallion has cloven hooves? I don't know of any around these parts. Or maybe this animal escaped from the knotted pine zoo or, or from a train load of wild animals. Well, that's a thought, Emil. But we would have been warned if that had happened, I'd think. Yeah. Perhaps you're right, Lefty. Well, your idea is better than mine because I can't imagine what kind of an animal this is. I guess we're just wasting time. I can't make heads or tails out of this. Nah, neither can I. As soon as Dick and Sid come out to spell us off guard, we'll go back to the horse barns and take a look at Whitey. Easy now, Matilde. You don't want to spook those buffalo. Stumpy, you're right. There are battle scars all over young bull's hide. There sure are, sonny. By the looks of him, old Snort almost won. Old Snort, plenty tough fighter. He King Bull, long time. Watch out, Gray Wolf. He ain't acting too kindly to us. Maybe we move away and he settle down. Good idea. You seen what we wanted to. Step it up a little, Matilde. Get him up, King. We better get back to ranch and tell Bill. Old Snort on loose. He right, Sonny. Old Snort's got to be found, corralled, or shot, one or t'other. Whitey, old boy. A couple of weeks of taking it easy, and you'll be as good as new. I hope so, Lee. I don't take a hankering to having one of our prized stallions cut to pieces. 
I can't for the life of me figure out how to stop it from happening again. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of thinking about that, Lefty. I take it the, the hoof prints didn't give you any clues, huh? Not a thing. Hmm. What or who did it is still a mystery. Yeah, we better get some help to find out. Who'll we get? Bill Jefferson and his rangers. <laughs> That's the whole story, Bill. The old snort just up and vamoosed. It's impossible to pick up trail. Heard cover his trail plenty hard. Well, we'd better find him. Let's get some provisions packed and hit the trail. Ah, I figure that's what you do. Let's hop to it, boys. I want to find old snort before he does any damage. Well, maybe this is a first lawsuit coming now. Ah. Hey, those two fellas are coming in like a hurricane. Ah, uh, something wrong, that's for sure. <laughs> Lefty and Lee Foreman. Hello, fellas. Uh, why the hard riding? Uh, hello, Bill. Howdy, Henry, fellas. Gray Wolf, somebody. Howdy. Hi, Lefty and Lee. Bill, we've got trouble and we don't know what it is. Oh? Tell me more, Lefty. Well, some kind of beast almost killed one of our best stallions. That's right, Bill. We'd like you to come over and take a look at the stallion and the range where the battle took place. Okay, fellas. We'll saddle up and go back to your ranch with you. Henry, let's saddle up. Stumpy, Gray Wolf, better water your horses. We might have quite a bit of riding to do. Easy, Whitey boy. We're just looking. Put the bandage back on me. I think we're seeing all we need to. Don't you think so, Gray Wolf? Stumpy? Ah, we see plenty from kind of wounds Whitey has. Yep, they tell quite a story. What are you fellas talking about? Do you know what kind of beasts attacked our horses? Perhaps we do, Lefty. Let's ride out on your range and take a look around where you found Whitey. Sure. You think you'll have the answer then? Yes, Lee, I'm sure we will. Well, let's go. Any bad fight take place, all right. Old Snort didn't do this. I'll eat him, horns and all. Old Snort, who's he? A buffalo bull from our herd, Lefty. You mean a buffalo did this? What's the big idea letting him get out? All of our horses are in danger now. We ought to sue Uncle Sam for damages. Whitey won first prize at the horse show last year. We'll run our finest breeding stock on this range, Bill. What's the matter with you guys? Can't you control your buffalo? I think you rangers are slipping. You mean sleeping at the switch, Lee? Just a minute, fellas. You honestly think we let old Snort get away from us on purpose? You tell them, Sonny. Maybe they think we stay up nights figuring out ways to ruin all the herds on the range. Yeah, did you fellas ever meet up with an insane buffalo bull? What do you mean, insane buffalo bull, Henry? Well, old Snort was the big boss of the herd. The younger bull challenged him for his job, and they fought. Old Snort lost, and he automatically had to take off or be killed. Henry Wright, Stumpy and I see battle scars on young bull. Yeah, I guess we sounded off like tin horns, fellas. Please accept my apologies for the insults I threw at you. No, forget it. I'd be steamed up, too, if one of my best stallions got the treatment Whitey gun. No, oh, that doesn't excuse us, Bill. I'm very sorry for what I said and what I did. You think you can help us get that buffalo, old snort as you call him? We'll get him, fellas. I don't know how long it'll take us, but we're going after the mad bison. Yeah, looks like we've got company, Bill. How'd you guess? Well, there must be a dozen men waiting for us at the cabin. They have a good idea what they're going to say, too. Old Snort must have paid them a visit or two. Ah, he must be on Moe Plenty to hit that many ranches. That's what I'm afraid of, Gray Wolf. 
Some old snort's really gone off his rocker. Well, I might as well face the music. Those fellas look pretty hot under the collar. Oh, poor best. Oh, 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 my oh, Gentlemen, gentlemen, we can't all talk at once. That's right, Bill. We've all got plenty to say. That's right. Yeah. You'd better get that buffalo and get him fast. That's right. Yeah, you heard, Josh Bill. We all feel the same way. That's right. We've been chasing, shooting, and trying to get him ourselves. We couldn't do it. He's too smart for us. Yeah. You're going to have plenty of damage suits in your hands if you don't get him. That's right. He's already wrecked some of my fencing. It's a good thing I saw him or he'd have gotten to my cannon. Yeah, and he's done plenty to the rest of the boys, too. Yeah, that's right. You know, I to see how he tore out my stuff. We've seen some of old Snort's work, fellas. Josh, Les, we agree with you. Hmm. We've got to get the buffalo and do it soon. Yes, yeah, well, so How soon we get our old Snort is questionable. We'll try our level best to make it soon. I suggest that you return to your ranches and keep guards posted until we let you know that old Snort's out of commission. Well, well, let's get back home, men, so the rangers can get to work. All right, let's get right up. Let's move. Get up, get up. Well, looks like we'd better get a move on. Yep. Either we get old Snort or he'll get us. This will be a fight to the finish this time. How are we going to do this, sonny? What have you got up your sleeve besides your arm? <laughs> I don't have much in the way of ideas, old-timer. The only thing we can do is ride out and try to find old Snort's trail. Then follow it. Uh, you right, Bill. That's all we can do. I'm afraid that we'll have to wait for the old boy to jump us. Ain't likely we'll get the chance to jump him. Yeah, and he'll come at us like a cyclone, too. Yeah, that's right. Oh, easy, well, <clears throat> uh, keep your rifles laying across your saddles. When we get to meet old Snort, there won't be time to pull your rifles from your saddle holsters. I'll ride out first. Stumpy, Gray Wolf, you flank me about 50 feet back. Hey, you mean I'm going to bring up the rear? Yes, pal, you are. Don't think you've been disgraced. Old Snort can, and mine, come at us from any direction. I don't want us to be bunched up when that happens. <laughs> okay, I'm happy now. All right, let's go. Get up, Scott. Come on, King. Let's go, King. Hey. Snort's trail, all right. But maybe it's too old to be any good. Yeah, I think so, young fella. This trail's three days old. We'll have to keep crossing and recrossing this part of the country until we find old Snort's fresh trail. Maybe he isn't in this area at all anymore, Bill. We'll find that out, too. I take a week to do it, but we'll find out. trails. Looks pretty fresh, too. Ah, you're right, Stumpy. Buffalo passed this way maybe half day ago. What well, dog. Now we can get this game of hide-and-seek over with. We've lost the trail, fellas. I think we pick up trail straight ahead. Ground here too hard. Yep. They didn't see any sign where old Snort turned. How much longer is this hard ground going to last? We'll go another mile or so. If we don't pick up old Snort's trail by then, we'll have to go back. Hey, there's a trail sign ahead. Let's get after him, boys. Come on, Come on, my duty. Come on. Hey. Keep your eyes open, your rifles ready. We could run into old Snort any time now. Yeah, you said it. This is like running the gauntlet or something. 
His beady eyes might be looking at us right now. He's thinking how nice we'd look, dangling on the end of his horns. Eight, nine hundred pounds of bull buffalo. Nothing to joke about. You said it, Sonny. Oh, Storch, is that? Look out, Bill! Hey. hey, come on, Storch. Get going, big boy. Run, Bill. Then do something before he gets Bill's farm. You can't shoot him right here, Bill. Come on, Storch. We're letting him win. Come on, Storch. Come on, big boy. Run. That a boy. Run. The life depends on you. Come on, boy. Slow down, boy. All right. Easy, boy. Good boy, Storm. Take it easy now, fella. Old Snort gave up trying to catch you. Good boy, Storm. Whoa, Storm. Hold it up, fella. Wow, can Storm run? Man alive, he took off like the wind. It's a good thing he did, or old Snore would have nailed both of them. I'll say he would have, Stumpy. Didn't even dare shift my weight to shoot. I fear I'd throw Storm off stride. It was nip and tuck for a couple of hundred yards. And then old Snort's age began to tell, but he's still plenty fast. I'll say he is. Boy, the way he came out of that canyon, just like he'd been shot out of a gun. No, yeah, let's not waste time chinning. The old boy will be kind of tired from that run. Maybe this is the right time to get him. Right, Stumpy. Where'd he go? He head north across range toward canyon country. All right, let's go. Get him up, King. Come on, Stumpy. Come on, Matilde. Boy, old Snort must really be moving. He sure is, Henry. His trail's plain as the nose on your face. You must be wide. Be more careful about his trail. He's heading right for the canyon, isn't he? Yep. That's what he's doing, all right, Henry. Foxy Valley, that bison. Whoa, Whoa, Whoa Storm. Oh, oh Matilda. Yeah. He's in that canyon straight ahead, isn't he, Bill? Yeah. We're not riding in there until we've tried to get him some other way. Oh, what's your plan, Bill? Gray Wolf, you and Henry barricade yourself here at the mouth of the canyon. Stumpy? You and I are going up to the ridge. Hold it, Stumpy. You see him, Bill? Yes, old timer, I do. Are you sure? I can't see him. Look down on the canyon floor, to the right of the hump rock in the middle of the canyon. Hey, there he is, big as life. Hey, let me walk around and take a crack at him with old Betsy. Don't do any good, Stumpy. Canyon Ridge overhangs right where he is. <laughs> Never see such a smart operator. Yeah, hey, let's try it from here. All right, go ahead. Hold your ears. Well, he moved. I'm afraid he's gun smart by now, Stumpy. Yeah, not only that, but he's gone deeper behind the rocks and back of the hump. Well, only one thing to do. What's that? Go in after him. Stumpy, Henry... Understand your instructions? I do, Bill. Me too, Sonny. Don't worry, old Snort ain't going to get out of this here canyon. If he shows his head, I'll bounce rifle balls off of it. Okay. Remember, old Snort doesn't get out of this canyon alive. If he does, I'll hold you two responsible. Oh, he won't, Bill. Believe me. I do. You ready, Grey Wolf? Uh, I all set, Bill. Fine. I'll go in first. You follow 50 feet behind me. Keep that distance so I'll have room to maneuver. That's a good idea, Gray Wolf. Things might suddenly get pretty exciting in there. You say mouthful that time, Stumpy. Let's go, Bill. Come on, Storm. You've got a job to do inside. Get up, King. I've got to get old Snort if he gets Bill. (laughs) 
Keep a sharp eye, Gray Wolf. The last Stumpy and I saw him, he was in back of the hump rock. Could have moved since then. Uh huh. I watch everywhere at the same time, Bill. Well, we're halfway to the hump rock, Gray Wolf. Uh huh. It'd not be long now. Old snort fight soon. You better give me a little more room, Gray Wolf. Here's the hump rock. Uh, I do. You'll be plenty ready now. Hey, there he is. Let's get him, Storm. Shoot, Bill. Look out, Gray Wolf. He's coming after you. I shoot, too. And he's coming. Good shot. I, I can't get in position to finish him, though. Look out. Keep him up, Bill. Good. Now I can finish him. Get around, Storm. What's kind of wall? Easy, Storm. Easy, boss. Hey, I lost my rifle. I can't get away. Give him up, King. Shoot, Gray Wolf. I get him. They got him. You all right, Bill? Yeah. Old Storm and I forgot about the canyon wall. Yeah, that was fine shooting, Gray Wolf. Another ten feet and old Snort would have fixed this good. Uh, I'm glad i in position to kill Buffalo. So am I. I don't like killing animals, but this time I'm glad old Snort's dead. Well, let's get Henry and Stumpy. Then we'll pass the word to the ranchers that we got the bad bison. killing that bull buffalo. We want to apologize for the nasty remarks we made. That goes double for me, Bill. And the rest of you fellas. Well, thanks, Josh. Unless you only did the job we were supposed to do. Sorry old Snore did the damage he did before we got him. Uncle Sam will pay you for the damage, though. Now, Lefty, how's Whitey? He's coming along nicely, Bill. I sure wouldn't have been in your boots for anything from what Gray Wolf tells me. <laughs> I wouldn't be in my boots if it weren't for a gray wolf and his fine shooting. Uh, I do nothing, Bill. You one who go in first. Well, regardless of who gets the medal, I can say one thing. What's that, Stumpy? Old Snort sure put up a good fight, but it wasn't good enough. Poor feller ain't gonna be the big boss anymore. Well, I sure wouldn't have changed places with Bill when he was trapped by old Snort. And it was no easy spot for Gray Wolf, either. Those shots had to count. Well, we'll see you next week for more adventure with... Ranger Bill! Hi there, boys and girls. This is Ranger Bill back again for just a third of a minute with an extra word of thanks to you for joining us today. Hope you'll team up with the Rangers every week at this time when your local station gives us this chance to get together. See you then.